Samantha Winkle, and today we're making sidewalk, sidewalk chalk. chalk. Ella, we love playing the sidewalk chalk at our house, don't we? Yes. We always have a big bucket of it outside to play with. Mm -hmm. And when we play hopscotch, it's very fun. Oh yeah, because you can draw out the hopscotch and then hop mm -hmm. on the numbers. That is so fun. We like to do like fun sayings or rainbows or drawings. Uh, we get to make our own sidewalk chalk today. Won't that be so fun? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what's in our kit. Okay, a silicon mold, a paper cup, plaster, and some color powder. That's so great, Ella. On top of everything in our kit, all you'll need is some water, and then we're ready to get started. Yay! Ella, I love this project today because it has so much to do with science and chemistry, but also so much to do with art. Mm -hmm. But this is a dry powder, right? Mm -hmm. When we add the water to this, a chemical reaction actually occurs in this bag when we add the water. Yeah. What's in here is called gypsum, and when that chemical gets moist, you know, all of the powder dissolves, and then when it hardens, it becomes like a hard substance, like the chalk. Do you know why it's called plaster of Paris? Because it's from Paris. Oh my goodness, yes. So gypsum that was in here is actually a chemical that's found near Paris. So plaster of Paris is used to make sculptures and metal castings. Plaster of Paris is very fire resistant. It's used as a coating on wood and metal structures to avoid any fire accidents. If at any time in this Winkle video we get going too fast or you didn't understand some instructions, you can always pause the video, rewind, and press play when we're all cut up. Guys, this project can be a little messy, so whatever you need to do today to make sure you're catching all those spills and messes that could possibly happen, go ahead and get that set up right now. Okay, Ella, first we're gonna start by pouring water into our cup. You can pour warm or hot water and that will actually make the plaster set up faster. Great. Now you're going to lay your bag on the tabletop. Kind of plop it down so it's nice and steady on the bottom. There you go. Open it up. Good, and we're gonna pour all of our water in there. Good, and now we're gonna take our powder pigment and this is actually a powder that you can make paint out of. That's cool. Yeah, if you added this to oil, you can make oil paint. We're adding this to plaster and that'll help us color our sidewalk chalk. Go ahead and pour all of it in. And you can tap your bag to make sure all that powder goes in nicely. Good? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna seal up our bag, but not all the way. Seal it about almost all the way. Then you're gonna push on your bag and you're gonna get all that air out. Okay, push it down. There you go, and then finish sealing it up. Now this part, you might be tempted to like throw this around and go crazy with it, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna mix it very slowly and carefully. We're pressing it together, we're smushing it, but we're not going to tear a hole in our bag because that would ruin our project. So we really wanna be careful to just kind of knead this around with our hands, kind of rubbing it, smushing it. How does it feel? It feels cool. Yeah, it does feel cool. I feel a lot of the, um, the plaster. You do? Now at home, if yours isn't looking quite as thick as ours, you can always add a little bit more water. If your plaster is thinner than ours, you can still use it. It's just that it will take a little bit longer for all that water to evaporate, but it definitely will still harden and set up. Okay, now here's the fun part. Everybody has a different type of silicone mold. Silicone is this really flexible plastic. Can you feel that? It's awesome. So that when our chalk is done, we can pop it out like that. Pop. See that? Pop. You could even use these later if you wanna go get more plaster and more pigment. You could make more and more sidewalk chalk. Okay, let's see ours. Mine is mixed pretty good. Ella still has a lot of white spots in it, so she's just gonna keep rubbing it and smushing it around until there's no white spots left. That looks great, Ella. Yellow and blue. Okay, so now we're going to just open a tiny corner. Watch, not the whole thing, yep. Just a little corner of the bag. See like that? Just so it's like a little there. spout. Just like how my water container has a spout on it, it helps the water pour out better. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanna create with your bag, is a little spout. You're going to slowly pour the plaster into your mold. Okay, once it gets almost to the top, you wanna stop. Some of 
these containers, uh, you'll maybe run out of plaster because the containers are bigger than others. In some containers, you'll have extra plaster, but you all have enough to make enough sidewalk chalk. Extra, but I'm just not going to use it because that's just they're going to get too full. All right, so Ella's at this point where she still has some bees left and she still has a lot of plaster in here. So we're going to take our two fingers like this and we're going to smush that plaster to the bottom of the bag. And then two fingers again, we're going to smush that plaster to the other corner. Okay, now fold that bag up, and now we can smush it back out. Again, those two fingers on either side of the bag. We're gonna smush it out. All right, at this point, we're going to get all the air out of our plaster. Do you know how to do that? Our plaster is full of air bubbles. We're going to get all those air bubbles to come up to the surface, and it's also going to flatten out our chalk so that it's nice and smooth at the top. Just a little tiny tap, little tiny tap. Do you see any bubbles coming up? Look, I have some right here. Yeah, you have some right there. They're coming up. That's gonna get rid of all the bubbles in your plaster. And also, see how it flattened out your bees? Isn't that so cool? Just a little tap is all you need to flatten those out. That looks so good, Ella. I am so excited for when these dry and we're gonna go outside and draw some awesome pictures. Yeah. These might take an hour to dry. They might take a day to dry. So just keep checking on them. Once the plaster is nice and hard and it's not cold and wet anymore, then it's ready to pop out. Ella, I already made this one earlier today and it's already dry. I only made it a couple hours ago. Do you want to see how this works, how to pop it out? Yeah. Okay, turn it over. And remember I said those silicone molds are really flexible. We're just gonna pop it out. Huh! Can I try? Yeah. Cha! Wow, those look so awesome! Wow, that is so cool. Look and at all see this that? Chai. It just came out nice and clean. Uh-huh. Yeah, and this chalk looks so good. This was so much fun making sidewalk chalk with you today, Ella. Thank you for joining me. For you guys at home, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe. That way, every time we come out with new Winkle videos, you'll be the first to know. Also, check out down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Well, we're going to go play with our sidewalk chalk outside. It was so nice to have you guys. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.